In today's two minute tip, we will look at how you can improve the behavior of certain array methods using TypeScript type cards. So let's go. One of the most powerful features of TypeScript is discriminated unions. Here we have a union called shape, which can either be a square or a rectangle, and we can use the property type to discriminate whether an item is a square or a rectangle. We have a utility function that gets us an array of shapes, and we want to find the first square that exists within this array. We can do that with the array find method. However, when we try to use the size property of this square, we get a compile time error because as far as TypeScript is concerned, it has still found a shape and not necessarily a square. The fix for this particular issue is to convert the function that is used in find into a custom type card. We do that by providing a return type annotation to that function that if it returns true, it implies that s is a square and not a shape anymore. This custom type card function is useful in other array methods as well. For example, when we try to filter out all the squares from the shapes, we get a similar error as before. Without a custom type card, as far as TypeScript is concerned, s might still be a shape and not necessarily a square. Of course, the fix is to convert the function that is passed to filter into a custom type card by using the same return type annotation that we used previously. Now, of course, if you are using the same custom type card again and again, it makes sense to move it into a utility function, and then you can use this custom type card whenever you want to change the type that is returned from any of the array methods. And of course, just to be complete, you can create a similar type card for any of the other discriminated union members that you might have. And that's it for this quick tip. Smash that like and subscribe for more content like this. Check out the other tutorials on this channel, and I will see you in the next one.